Ladies and gentlemen, from the Edgewater Casino Resort, Laughlin, Nevada, King of the Cage and Lucas Oil present this three-round bout in the Bantamweight Division. Your referee in charge of the action, Chris Tyone. Introducing first, in the Lucas Oil Blue Corner, standing 5 feet 10 inches tall, official weight, 139 pounds. He represents UMA Karate. Ladies and gentlemen, from Barstow, California, presenting Eric Troubles Anderson. His opponent across the cage, fighting out of the Lucas Oil Red Corner, stands at 5 feet 8 inches tall. Official weight, 143 pounds. He represents Desert Warriors MMA. Ladies and gentlemen, from Bullhead City, Arizona, presenting the real Ronnie. Once again, your referee in charge, Chris Tanioni, with the final instructions, three rounds of phantom weight action scheduled. All right, guys, you've been given the rules. I expect you to obey my commands. Protect yourselves at all times. Any questions here? Questions here? Good luck, guys. Here we go. And here we go as Eric Anderson gets set to take on Ronnie Moore. And joining us in the commentary booth later tonight, Joe Daddy Stevenson, helping me call all the action. Uh, in the meantime, he'll be cornering his fighters. Anderson dodging the wrath of Ronnie Moore. Ronnie Moore will end up on top. And you can see Moore is just full of explosiveness here, just ready to unleash his power. And just on Anderson right now. Good takedown defense being displayed by Moore at this moment. Anderson just finds himself in a guillotine here. Sucks him up and takes him to the ground, but passes over to the half guard, or the uh, side mount, excuse me. Anderson can do as he works more up against the cage. More you can see is just trying to stand this back up. Anderson on top of him, keeping him from doing that. And he's going to put him in a very vulnerable position if he can get on top there. So they are back on their feet, and Moore goes in for a nice takedown, moves his neck out, and pops. So Moore is doing a good job. I'd have to say he's scored it just a little ahead of Anderson right now in points. But by the way these guys are going, it looks like they're trying to end the fight, especially with the explosiveness of Moore. He's just trying to create that space and land some heavy shots, and that's what he's doing right now. Some body shots being delivered by Moore. Not giving Anderson a chance to stand up. He tries to take the back, but Anderson will take advantage of that. And they'll end up in a sort of north-south position here as Anderson climbs around to side control. And then a warning from the ref. Watch the back of the head. And a nice pushdown, I would have to say that, by Anderson. Moore finds himself on the ground, but... We'll take this back to the ground and probably pop his head right out. This is like deja vu earlier in the round here. And with eight seconds remaining, it does not look like Anderson can seal the deal right now. And there it goes round number one to the books. We're here in Laughlin, Nevada at the Edgewater Resort Casino. 
Of course, we want to thank our sponsors, Lucas Oil and Mad TV, for broadcasting King of the Cage tonight. Let's take a quick look at the replay. Moore trying to set it up with a couple shots, but ultimately trying to go in for the takedown. Anderson would end up on top just for a second. Land a couple shots of his own. Moore obviously doing a good job with the takedowns, but Anderson was landing probably a little bit more of the shots on the ground there. And obviously we can see the strength of Moore, his explosiveness. And Anderson right here scoops him up a bit. Takes you to the ground. And then Moore, with his takedowns, against Anderson and then would end up throwing a couple shots of his own. So it's a really, really close round between those two fighters. Now we enter chapter two. Moore with a kick. Anderson staying at bay there. Anderson knows that he's going to try and go in for that takedown, so Anderson just utilizing his lane. Some nice punches and kicks to throw Moore's game off a bit. As you can see, Moore wants to take this to the ground. Oh, and a nice shot delivered. Anderson completely stuns him, but that's a really good call by the ref. You know, the crowd can say what they want, but the ref, man, he's ultimately there to protect the fighter. I and mean, that was a really, really clean shot. And uh, I believe what's called is called there. We don't, we don't know. Let's take a quick look at the replay. You'll be the judge yourself here. Nice big right. And just goes against the cage. You know, I'm sure I could see how some fans saw that that was stopped, but you know, the ref is, is there for a reason. And I'm sure he saw something. I mean, he's right there in the cage. And we got to remember that this is in the amateur division, so there are a little bit different rules, and, you know, these fighters are a little bit more protected when it comes to MMA. But, uh, you know, you can't argue with the judge, man. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Chris Tyone steps in and calls a halt of this bout due to his strikes in official time. 33 seconds of round number two. Your winner by TKO, Eric Troubles Anderson.